Back everyone, in this video tutorial we are going to see how to create 3D maps in ArcGIS Pro as well as we are going to see how to overlay the satellite images as well as the vector layers in this 3D environment. Okay, so that is what we are going to look at. So let's get started. The first step is to add our DEM data. So you can see here, I am using SRTM DEM 30 meter resolution. I have downloaded it from USGS. I will be also sharing this uh, data in the link. You can check it out. Now after uh, adding the DEM data, you can see here how it looks like. So DEM is a form of imagery which has elevation of the terrain. And you can see in the image, you can see you can find values. So 2019 to minus 5. 2019 is the highest elevated regions and minus 5 is the lowest elevation region. You can see it in the symbology. You can also change the symbology by clicking over here. Uh, you can see the color scheme. From here you can choose any color scheme. So I am going to choose this one. You can see the difference. High elevated region is shown in white color and low is shown in uh, mixed of green colors. So now let us get started in creating 3D maps in ArcGIS Pro. The data is currently in geographic coordinate system and we are going to set the elevation source. So here in the add data you can find elevation source. Click on elevation source. So browse to the DEM data set which I have added the same data set. We are going to just set the elevation source. Same data SRTM DEM. Click on OK. So we have successfully set the elevation source. So in the next step we are going to create a 3D map view. Select view and here you can find link uh, sorry convert convert and here you can see some options available. So select to local scene. Once you have uh, selected it, it will be starting to convert. It's loading the 3D map. So you can still see that the surface is in 2D form. So now hold on to your scroll button and you can see the new symbol is appearing up. You can just pull it up and down and you can set the 3D view like this. You can set the 3D view for your data set. You can also navigate. Normally you can navigate like this. If you want to turn the scene, hold on to the scroll button and you can easily turn the screen like this. So you can still see that the, uh, the terrain is not uh, that much differentiated between the elevated region and non uh, low elevated region. So let us see how to fix that. So move on to the contents and you can find ground here. Under uh, After selecting ground you can see at the top appearance. Click on appearance and here you can set the vertical exaggeration. So I am going to set the vertical exaggeration to 2. And you can see the difference how the image looks like now. You can differentiate the between the highly elevated region. You can use scroll button to zoom in. Highly elevated region and low elevated regions. So if you set it to 3, you can see some more differences are there. Like this, you can see the difference. So you can thoroughly visualize the 3D effects. See how your terrain looks like now. You can also use this uh, cursor down below to move. You can use this button to move up and down like this. So now let us see how to overlay uh, raster layers and vector data sets. So now navigate to map. Let us add the data set. So I am going to add the raster data set. You can see the satellite image which I have downloaded. Let me add that and see how it looks like. Now you can see how the terrain looks like. It uh, 
this is very appealing right now you can see right so like this you can overlay the image you just need to put it on the top so that it will be easily visible top of the layer it should be on the top of the dem layer you can also uh, put on the base maps so let me add this base map to the top so you can see here how it looks like i have just added the base map and let me add the world hill shade too you can see how it is so like this you can overlay images base maps on top of this uh, elevation layer that is dim layer if you want to add vector layer you can also do it let me show you so once again we just need to add the data set navigate to the vector data sets where you have saved it so let me add the waterways first you can see here how it is looking so like this you can add the waterways you can see it in 3d let me also add the road network map sorry uh, road network layer transport you might be seeing the difference so this is the transportation network so like this you can visualize the layers uh, in order to export this image as a 3d first uh, let us fix some point yeah the direction which you are interested in then so move on to the option share and here you can see export map click on export map here you can choose the file format and you're going to specify the output location you can set the quality if you want to increase the image quality you can set it like likewise so now i am going to export it yes so now i have exported the image so now let us move on to the file manager where we can uh, view the exported image as you can see here how the image looks like if you want you can export it in a better quality you just need to increase the you can also export the map in pdf so once again hit on share and here you can find print map so in print map you can use microsoft print to pdf and so now hit print and you can save it to any uh, location So the export has been completed. Let us see how it is. You can see the 3D map. So like this you can export it in PDF also. So thanks for watching. If you like the video, please do give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.